you could just move to the sidewalk or anything like that. Yeah. Try to get the signatures like that. I understand that's your polite request, and um, respectfully, politely, I'm going to stay here and keep the signatures. They don't want you on the property. They do have the right to ask you to leave and also to request a trespass since they are renting the facility in the field. If it was any other day that wasn't yeah. being rented out. Do you guys mind if I chat with you a little bit? Yeah. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys? What's up, YouTube? It's BBCast back again with another video, another reaction. And in uh, today's video is a video of, of this guy named Bruce Guthrie, where basically he was collecting signatures at this festival in uh, Washington, and he got unlawfully arrested, but the charges ended up getting dropped. And this is a, a story that i kind of been, like, keeping an eye on for, like, a good two weeks. And I was actually waiting for the body cam footage to drop because I was actually very curious on what happened. So I'm going to watch it, get my reaction. Let me know what y'all think about the comment section. Make sure to like, subscribe, and all that, man. And let's get into the video. That's a good one. Hey, man. Hi, hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Just fine. Right now, the only, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase while I'm here. Okay. There's the private event owner just doesn't want you to be here. I understand. You know, with the I think you're harassing people. Okay. He signatures. thinks I, he thinks I'm harassing. Yeah. Is that his words? Because this yeah. is a private event, you know. But what I want to say is like, if you could just move to the sidewalk or anything like that. Try yeah. to get the signatures like that. I understand that's your polite request, and um, respectfully, politely, I'm gonna stay here and keep collecting signatures. Would you like to hear what I'm doing? I come up to people and say, "Are you registered to vote in Washington?" And when they say yes, because 98% of them say yes, I say, "I have a petition to get an additional candidate on the ballot, so we have an additional choice in Washington. Uh, will you please sign for me? I have to get 2,000 signatures." Most of them say no. But I'm polite and respectful of all of you. And I completely understand that. I don't blame you for doing Would that you be at all. Are willing to sign? Not right this minute. Uh, you, I am registered on. to vote. That's so, groovy. Yep. Yeah. So all he's asking is if yeah. you would step out just to the sidewalk and you still have access to everyone coming in. He just doesn't want anything political within the event. I hear that. And and it's my first amendment right. And even though he's renting this space, this is government owned land. And I believe it's my first amendment right to be here talking to people freely and peacefully. If it wasn't being rented out, you would be correct. So you and I disagree on how the law should be interpreted. Or respectfully, politely, we disagree. And I plan to stay here. Respectfully so. Yeah. <laughs> it is my first, over that? Yes, sir. Okay. It's my first amendment right to be here. Like and I'm going to assert my first amendment right. You're going to address me. I will not create huge problems for you. You know, I'm 240 pounds. I'm a peaceful dude. I will go peacefully, but you're going to have to arrest me. Fair enough. That seems mighty silly when you're just standing right there. Not, you know, not my wife says yourself. I'm silly too, and I think she's probably right a lot. Which I actually think is silly that this officer is telling him, like, you know, you could just go right here when all reality, like, is still public despite if it's getting rented out or not. And this is one of the reasons why I believe that the charges did get dropped. So. Yeah. First Amendment. All right. First Amendment. I have the right to petition the government for the grievances. I have the right to freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. Why not? You are actually, this is a first no, amendment case. This if you arrest me, I'm hoping you arrest me. This is a private event. I just don't want you to hear. I am you ran out of it here for three days. Yeah. I hear you. If you arrest me, I'm going to get a lawyer. This is going to be a first amendment issue. And I'm looking forward to it. That's fine. That's fine. They just don't want if you to hear. I understand that. No. And yeah, I understand that. And we're, we're growing adults, you know? We're having yeah. a decent conversation. Right, right, right. I, I get, I get, you yeah. want to, people sign the petition. Yeah. And, yeah. and I just want to, like, when you guys are ready to arrest me, come on over. Until then, I'm going to collect some more signatures. Respectfully. Peacefully. Yeah. Okay. Got it? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wait on the, what he got to say. If it is, we'll just let him know. Yeah. 
I really love the Constitution the Bill of Rights. And when the state violates the Bill of Rights, you can have a social contract. The contract is in full The government says, I promise to pay you the you grant me this tax. And this is one of our five units called for. When the government violates the Bill of Rights, and if people won't stand up and assert, I don't want us to be on the road to dictatorship. And I know you, gentlemen, believe in the Constitution and would not violate your oath of office for them to protect the Constitution. You wouldn't do that because you're patriotic men. Hi there, are you folks registered to vote in Washington? We sure are. I have, a, have been since we left. Roughly, I have a petition to get another candidate on the ballot in November successes. He was two thousand. Can you help me with this candidate? His name is Chase Oliver. How are you? Liberty Channel. And I don't know if y'all hear, but he's basically um talking to just some random people about petition, about signing that petition to um I guess like get somebody into like a run against uh, whatsoever and you can see he just being like very calm and collective he's not harassing people like whatever the um person that rented this place out called these costs for definitely did not see what this guy was doing because i mean I, I don't see him being like harassing or being a threat to anybody he's walking up kindly very soft voice and you know he's not acting out of character or anything so i don't know i feel like these officers are just kind of confused on what they want to do so they are requesting that you be trespassed. Okay. They are renting the property. It is their right. So like is there anything? In front or in back? I just think oh, it's kind sorry. of. I just think it's silly that you wouldn't want to just stand right over on the side. Of it. It's like. Uh, I'm honestly doing peaceful and I'm not going to resist. I, I if you want to come, you can. Okay. But I will follow you to the squad car and be arrested right now if that's what you want to do. Come on. I don't think any of us want to. Yeah, we don't no, want we don't want to. <laughs> Like, really, I, if I you completely, like, just don't this right is there. where I want to stand, and it's my right to liberty to stand here. But if you tell me it's time to go to the squad car, I will follow you peacefully. They don't want you on the property. They do have the right to ask you to leave, and also to request a trespass since they are renting the facility. I'm kind of confused on like the trespass thing. So like, if they're trying to trespass them. Does that mean like he can't go to like any events that's hosted by this person or like he can't go back to the property? Like wh what are we like really trespassing? In the field. If it was any other day that wasn't yeah. being rented out. <laughs> so. Then respectfully, peacefully, I'm going to stay here until okay. they ask me to go to the crosswalk car. Okay. Well, if that's what you're requesting. This is what you're enforcing because I is. would like to stay here. I'm going along peacefully just so that I don't get hurt and so you guys don't have hassles because I'm a fan of the police. I appreciate that. But uh, you're making this happen and he's making this happen. My right to liberty says I get to be here. Okay. You're violating my right to liberty and my right to freedom of speech. And you're enforcing that. Remember the Nuremberg trials? The Nuremberg defense was, I was just following orders, mein Herr. And it was an unsuccessful defense. Right. You are morally right. responsible for taking me to the squad car. So if I can take your clipboards uh, for you? No, actually, this is mine. Okay. Well, can like you put those down? It's going to go with you. Is it, is it okay if I do this? Yeah, it's fine. Well, I appreciate you being cooperative with us. Do this thing? Yep. And then I'll put your seatbelt on for you. Okay. Oh, this is kind of uncomfortable. It right. kind of hurts in the back. I'm a bit tall. Um, how... This might not be against rules. How would you feel about re-handcuffing me in front just for my own comfort? I Unfortunately, for policy, that. it's... All right. Is it a long trip? It's about 20, 30 minutes, depending on traffic. I think I can handle it. Okay. It's, my, my money, my tax money pays for this, and I feel guilty that I'm hurting people like this. You know, I can take it. 
It's just, uh, I think it's a good thing, a good policy to change. If there were some comfier handcuffs that were still just as secure, do you guys mind if I chat with you a little bit? I was recently at a, an amazing event with my son. It was a, a ro international robotics competition, and there were teams there from all over the world. And there were ROTC teams. And I went to all the ROTC, you know, Reserve Officer, Officer Training Corps, they were the military guys. They were uh, high school kids who were in ROTC. And I asked them, let's say you've, uh, you've signed up, you've signed your, your oath, uh, to follow orders and to obey the Constitution. And let's say a superior officer gives you a direct order to do something that you know in your heart of hearts is unconstitutional, like say, going door to door, confiscating guns from regular Americans. And I asked them, what would you do if you were given that order? And I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. I still can't hear you. A signed order by a judge, is that what you say? Well, it, it warmed the cockles of my heart because 90% uh, of these guys said no, they would not follow that direct order. And one of them used quite colorful language <laughs> to say how he would respond to his superior officer. But while I was there, there were also people from the People's Republic of China. And I asked them how they thought their military would respond. And 90% of them said they would follow the orders. And I thought that was a really interesting cultural difference between the Chinese and the American ROTCs. ...based on probable cause. So what you said is good, it's the Fourth Amendment says you've got to have a warrant signed by a judge based on probable cause. I'd love to hear, but I'm having trouble hearing. Does this uh, window open a little bit? No? Anyway, I'm curious what you have to say. No, this is something like, you know, going door to door, confiscating guns. It's a clearly a clear violation of the Second Amendment. So some of us worry that might happen and that you might be asked to enforce that. Maybe, I, I hope that worry is unfounded. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Sorry, that's the best I got. You guys can't have music in here, probably? You do? Well, what do you guys like to listen to? We are almost there. Oh. Oh well. And one thing that um that I definitely like enjoyed was the ride there because bro the entire time he would just like have a small talk with them but you could definitely hear it in the officers' voices that they was like getting annoyed because he wouldn't stop talking and I feel like he just like kind of did that on purpose just to, like you know kill him with kindness you know just you know that's like the best way because honestly out of all the interactions I've seen where people got unlawfully arrested or wrongfully arrested you usually get them cussing crashing out acting wild on the officer this guy he's like just basically killing them with kindness and that's the end of that interaction at a whole situation and my take on that like i said the charges ended up getting dropped but he's still uh suing the city you know for this unlawful arrest because at the end of the day it still was unlawful he went to jail for no reason you know especially with the charges being dropped and i'm thinking like they knew that they messed up and like they're hoping like them thinking oh, well let's, we'll just drop these charges like you know the city for dropping the charges 
and it still didn't do anything because this guy's still gonna sue him it's just like you know he was so nice and he just killed him with kindness because he wasn't being agitated he wasn't like being argumentative he wasn't um being like a nuisance or being a problem to any of the people it, you know at this event and despite that this guy's rented it out it's still a public place so i don't understand what they mean they was going to trespass them like you talking about trespassing for this public place or you talking about trespassing for like that particular person's like events that they have like that's kind of like what do you really mean by that and he, these officers really didn't know because they kind of stood there for like a good 10 minutes in silence not knowing what to do and like I said, the charges ended up getting dropped, and shit, he's still suing the city for, for this unlawful arrest, and he's rightfully so. But, I mean, that's my take on it, though, man. Like I said, this guy, he definitely killed him with kindness, especially in the car ride. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I really feel like the car ride there was, like, the officer's punishment for, like, unlawfully arresting this guy, bro, because, like, him in the car ride was kind of funny. Like I said, he was just killing him with kindness, and you could kind of hear it in one of the officer's voices, like, they was definitely getting annoyed, and I kind of feel like that was just that guy's plan, just to, you know, kill him with kindness, because in all the videos that we all seen and everything, people get unlawfully arrested, you usually see the detained person, you know, pissed off, cussing, which, I mean, rightfully so, but this guy, he was just killing him with kindness because he knew he was going to get a good lawsuit out there, so I'll be smiling on my way to the county, too, if I was him, but uh, that's my take on it, though. Let me know what y'all think about the comment section. Uh, how do you feel about uh, this guy getting arrested and getting unlawfully arrested for, you know, being trespassed at a public, you know, at a public place? Like, how do y'all feel about that? Because I was actually kind of, like, thinking, like, they trespass him from the place or they trespass him from the person that's hosting an event? Like, it was still kind of like, what? where is he going to be trespassed? Like, where can he go, you know? But it ended up getting dropped because the city or the DA, you know, they knew that this was not right. This was not a rightful arrest. And uh, I guess, like, them dropping it thought that that was going to save them. But nah, this guy's still suing, so... Uh, hopefully he wins his lawsuit and everything goes good for a uh, good old bruce man but let me know what y'all think about this situation make sure to leave it down in the comment section make sure to like subscribe and all that man and y'all have a wonderful day